Hi, I'm Rosalind Utley Moore, and I'm bringing you my regular segment, Grumpy Old Woman. And today's segment is going to be on my next very favourite question that I get asked all the time, and that is, where do I get my calcium? Most people come to see me these days for nutritional consultations because I believe we've got to start at that grassroot level of nutrition to get them somewhere to be able to move somewhere in their health. So straight away I'm going to say to people or at least recommend to people that they go with a plant-based diet. You're going to get all your calcium and all your minerals and all your vitamins that way. But as soon as I say that, the very first question people ask me is, where am I going to get my calcium is if I'm not having dairy or animal products or fish or bones or any of that thing which has been such an overwhelmingly successful uh, marketing campaign from the big boys selling you those animal-based calcium products plus the pharmaceutical calcium medications. So I'm here to tell you as a grumpy old woman how to get it in another way. So I'm going to ask some questions to you and see whether you can answer them. How much calcium do you need? How much calcium do your children need? How much calcium do perhaps your parents need? And where are you getting your calcium from? Because if you think you're getting it from a glass of milk, think again, because you're sadly lacking. I'm going to tell you a little story. And that story is this. If you are eating an animal-based diet, typical, you know, most people are having their meat and three veg, or their yogurt, or their milk, or, you know, what, cream cheese, or whatever they're having, thinking that they're getting their calcium very safely, ask yourself this. If that was the case, wouldn't you think that the big countries like New Zealand, Australia, or America, that consume an enormous amount of dairy product, don't you think they should have the least amount of osteoporosis? And why are they the ones that have the most osteoporosis? It's simply because those animal-based products leach the calcium out of your bones and they do it because you've got such an acid system and your pH level in your blood needs to stay at a 7.4 or around that and the only way that's going to happen is going to pull all the calcium which is an alkalizing mineral out of your bones into your blood to balance that pH level. So there's no way on the planet you're going to have a good level of calcium in your bones if you are eating an animal-based diet. It's just not going to be there. Something you're probably not aware of is that you don't actually manufacture calcium in your body. You need to get it from your diet. And what better way of getting it than with a plant-based calcium? And you only need a teaspoon of this per day to get your daily requirement. Now this wouldn't be a grumpy old woman segment if I wasn't giving you some other good tips on being vital and healthy. Now if you want to build back those strong bones, it's all very well to have a very good diet and maybe take some of the green calcium and plant-based calcium, but if you're not getting off your big butt, if you're sitting on a couch and you're not moving, then you are not going to have strong bones. You have to have some weight-bearing exercise there to start building those bones. And the other vital component to having good bones is sunshine. Now you don't need a lot. I'm not saying you have to go out there all day laying in the sun, but you do need that 20 minutes a day to get your vitamin D. So that's it on calcium from Grumpy Old Woman. You can look forward to my next segment next time.